All righty, Steeler Nation. Welcome back to Steelers Nation Australia. We've got a good, feel-good episode today. Um, I just got done doing a live or the live chat yesterday. I might try and link that video uh, to this one if you see it, but it was fun. It was so much fun. We were just talking about nonsense in the offseason. Uh, gaming came up. It was Taco Bell versus Le'Veon Bell. Uh, I thought that was funny. Uh, thank you to Rod and thank you to to uh, to Fishing for Trout as well for joining the team. Fantastic what you guys do to support my work. I it's I can't say much more than that. Great. Um, but then after that, I was as you do, you go through this, the Steelers news cycle and all that kind of stuff, and you're looking around the internet and you're going, "What's happening?" Because the OTA started yesterday, uh, being Tuesday when this video comes out. So yesterday's so OTA is day four. I believe it's, uh, let me check my little calendar here. I think it's OTAs day four. Do I have it here still? Yes. So OTAs was May 30th, number four. And look, I'm not there. And all I can go off is images, videos, uh, interviews, stuff like that. A lot of, lot of Steel Nation. We're not there, are we? We, we? we live in Pittsburgh or we live on the West Coast or we live in Arizona or we live, you know, all around the world. We're not there. So all we can do is put the pieces together. But I did see this um, interview uh, on, on Steelers.com, and I will share the article too, right? So you can see it here just a little bit. Uh, let's get rid of me for a moment. Can I get rid of me? Make it bigger. I thought this was really cool, man, and I, I like this guy. I like uh, Mark Robinson. He's uh, Mark Robinson is a, a draftee from last year. He's six foot. He's 220 pounds, a linebacker who used to be a running back, hits him hard. He got picked in the seventh round, 225 overall, last year's draft. Played a few games, I think a few games near the end. He played four games, two starts, and he had, I think, nine tackles in total, right? And yeah, they started to use him near the end of the season when Devin Bush wasn't being used. So, But the Pittsburgh Steelers did an article on today by Teresa Varley, and it says here, Mar making his mark, linebacker Mark Robinson didn't mind talking after Tuesday's OTAs about a play he made confirming he had an interception, right? And here's some good quotes from him. Also, also, not only good quotes, but just the, the confidence you can see uh, when I start reading out these quotes, right? The confidence in Mark Robinson. So he says here, what's crazy for me is I only see helmets and numbers, said Robinson. I couldn't care less who throws it. And I love that, by the way. I freaking love that. He doesn't care if it's Mahomes. He doesn't care if it's uh, Jimmy, Jimmy G or whoever or Joe Burrow or Lamar Jackson. Doesn't care. Couldn't care less who throws it. I'm here to play against anyone that shows up. I love that mentality. Then he dropped one of the coach uh, Tomlin's uh, lines. It's all nameless, gray faces. That's cool too. So he's repeating what, co what Coach Tomlin is saying, which means he's buying in. He's learning the system. And I reckon there's going to be a big year, actually. I'm pretty hyped on uh, Mark Robinson to maybe take over from Elena Roberts uh, throughout the season and get more reps. He, he, he'll see a lot more playing time this year in 2023, uh, I, I think anyway. I, I, I can't wait to see his development too, from year two, seventh rounder, to, to improving his craft. He says here, that was assignment football, said Robinson. The ball came to me. I made a play. Opportunities coming, and when you run with them, it was a ball aware play. It came to me. I took advantage of that opportunity. So I love that. Uh, then it goes down to say another quote. It says here, anytime we get the chance individually, everyone that comes in the locker room, Knows anytime you get a rep on the grass, it's gold. So pretty much saying like, if if you're running out to the locker room and you have a chance to play, then you've got to put that work on film to impress the coaches, to to try and solidify your spot and your role with the team. I think he's going to be a fantastic player in 2023. So he goes on to say, you get the rep on the grass, it's gold. I treat it as such and I plan to continue doing so. See, I love the confidence already. Now, I couldn't find... I couldn't find the actual, I couldn't find the the video of this. I, I, all I'm going off is what the, the text is. But I still read that when I read this, all I hear is confidence from Mark Robinson. I freaking love it, man. It's amazing. Uh, it says here, he doesn't know what role he'll be in 2023, but whatever it is, he plans on being ready. It says here, whatever that may be, I don't know what they got planned, said Robinson. Whatever they, whatever, whatever play we get, whatever rep we get, Whenever we are in there, we are all in there, and that is the mindset. That's team mentality. That is team mentality. Let me read that again. Whatever that may be, I don't know what they've got planned, whatever play we get, whatever rep we get, 
Whenever we are in there, we are all in there, and that's the mindset. So he he's the way I see that is is Robinson is saying it's a we mentality as the inside linebackers group or the linebacking core that includes everyone from Holcomb to Roberts um, to maybe Herbig coming in there as well, uh, rookie or even when TJ Watt sometimes can play body middle linebacker, right? He's saying whatever we have planned, we will move forward in that position. We will do our best. And he's going to play that role. And that's what Mark Robinson did last year in 2022. You didn't see him throughout the whole year. They didn't really dress him that much. He continued to learn learn the spot, learn how to play middle linebacker. And then he played like the last, I think, four games and started the last two uh, versus the Ravens and versus, I think it was the Browns. And you go back and watch those games. In those games, he was a, a heat-seeking missile. He loves to tackle. He used to play running back, loves to run through the holes. He's a guy that's very physical and loves to tackle. Now, who do we miss like that? Last year, Devin Bush, he was out the last two or three games. Devin Bush didn't really play. And you saw more snaps, I think more snaps from Robinson than than um, than Devin Bush or, or some of the other linebackers because I think he played over like 90% or maybe even more in the last two games. Now, will Robinson go and start a middle linebacker? I don't think so, but we'll soon find out. We're only in OTAs and you never know if he has a great camp, he might start next to Holcomb or even if you don't start the first snap, he might get a majority of snaps throughout the whole defense and this is going to be a long year too. So if you go and start Elena Roberts, hulk them together as your one and two, and then you, you switch in between uh, Robinson to play certain downs, it should be quite exciting. It's just fun, man. It's fun. This stuff is awesome to see. Like I love this. I love that quote. Whatever, whatever that may be, I don't know what's planned. Whatever play we get, whatever rep we get, we're in it together, right? So he he's just he he seems like a team guy. He seems like a team guy. Anyways, that's the uh, the OTAs for today. So thank you guys for checking out a short episode. Uh, I'm pretty keen for Mark Robinson going into year two. There, there's no real high expectation where he has to go out there and be the best middle middle linebacker you've seen on 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 earth. He doesn't need to be a shazy or anything like that. Just got to keep grinding away day by day and finding his role with the team. If that is back up behind those two fellas who possibly are starting in Holcomb and Roberts, then fine, fantastic. Learn from the best. You've got Highsmith as as some uh, linebacking co- coaches there, you know, or, or veteran guys in TJ Watt. You have some real veteran guys on, on the team with Minka, Cam, all those guys. This defense can be fun. And when you start hearing confidence from a, a rookie going to his second year, a seventh-round pick, have that confidence in this team and and speak with um, with value that he gets from Coach Tomlin and, and the team or the overall team, then it's, in, it's some ex- exciting times. Right, I'm just pumped up. Anyways, guys, I'll see you later. Enjoy the rest of your day or your night whenever I release this. Mark Robinson, look out for him, man, for, for a, a big jump in 2023. If he starts playing, starts knocking people out, because he's going to play teams too. He'll play teams as well. So look out for Mark Robinson. And guys, I'll see you later.